All right, so today's Monday, so now we gotta figure out how to empty out the trailer and load up all these boxes I brung from downstairs and everything, and figure out how to fit all the stuff in the trailer in about this little area. <sighs> it's gonna be a pain in the butt, but I guess that's what we gotta do. All right, well. We'll see you guys in a little bit. I gotta organize the garage a little bit and figure out what I'm doing. Alright, bye. Also, I forgot to mention we gotta load up the truck with stuff for the dump for Saturday. And we gotta load up one of the trailers for stuff for auction to make room also. So it's a big process once I'm not working and everything and only really have one day to do it. Oh, look at you, look at you. You are awesome. Big prey mantis. Come here, buddy. I don't want you to die. Woo. Yeah, I love them things. Come on, kill as many mosquitoes as you can. Eat as many bugs as you can. But now you guys can see that's a prey mantis. That's a full, about a full grown one. But they're pretty awesome. They don't mean no harm to us, so if you guys see them, do not step on them because they are actually an endangered species. And if anybody finds out about that, you can get fined. Uh, and this is all the different scrap and uh, trash that we have from the market so gotta unload that I didn't sell one tote yesterday so that kind of sucked and then that will be the trailer we're going to load stuff up with auction alright we'll see you guys back in a little bit Bye. and this is the monster of a trailer we load it and now we gotta unload it. I put all brand new stuff in it. It's pretty packed, but this is all old stuff. So out with the old in with the new. Alright, let's get started. And I got my wife out here. She's posting stuff on Facebook. Britt, you got anything to say for the camera? Sounds like her, too. Don't stop. <laughs> All right, we'll see everybody later. Bye. All right, so we got a lot of empty totes unloaded out. The table's out. And we're about halfway unloaded in the trailer. Now just got to get all the rest of this stuff out and then uh, start loading stuff back in. I think I'll keep this in because Christmas coming up soon. In a couple months, but uh, still trying to make room in the garage to fit everything. And got my fan going because it started getting a little bit hot. And still haven't yet to touch this, but got the truck unloaded and start loading trash on the trailer. All right, we'll see everybody back in a little bit, let you know how we're doing. All right, bye. Hi, so started to load the trailer. This is what I got in so far, a bunch of boxes and different stuff. This stuff still has to all come out, but I'm gonna stack this stuff high all the way to the ceiling. Cause while I was at the market, my buddy Brad actually had the nerve to say to me, oh Dan, it looks like you need more stuff in the trailer. I was like, you son of a bitch. I packed that trailer full and he said jokingly, but I was like, all right, you wait. I'm going to load the shit out of that trailer. Come there next week and you won't even get halfway through the trailer. And my mom was like, oh, I'm going to slap you. But they know it helps me out and 
if I make money, they make money. So it's all about the same. So plus a lot of these boxes actually had paperwork in it, which kind of sucks. That's why you go through it at the locker and everything. Like this is all wrapped up stuff. I don't know what's in any of these. Some say kitchen on them, some say other stuff, but when we pack up next week, all these boxes will be gone. It'll be all nice totes and everything, so that'll be another good thing. <sighs> I keep hearing thunder, so it's probably gonna rain soon. There's all the dollar stuff we have from the market, all the non-dollar stuff. Every journey. That will have to go in the trailer. And let's see what upstairs looks like. Oh, I've been working my butt off bringing stuff downstairs, trying to get up here cleared, and it doesn't even look like I did anything. But I cleared the whole back wall. So all back there is all cleared. So when you walk up here, cleared a lot up here actually. Walk all the way over here behind the wall. Plug my little light in. All clear. And this winter I think I'm gonna work in here I'm going to put the insulation back up and then I have some old carpet. I'm going to put that along this wall. That way I don't rub against the insulation on this side. I'll show you guys the other side because I did that on the other side and it works great. I have a piece of sheetrock somewhere behind here, but just use this in the meantime. So that's what the carpet looks on this side. Goes all the way down until like two bays before the end. Still have some totes in here I can grab out. But insulation is great behind here. Doesn't fall down and it actually keeps it more insulated up here. Like I could actually make up here in a, to a room Ooh, if I cleared it all out. Alright, well, we'll get you guys back a little bit later. I still got some more stuff to bring down and huh, got some Burberry perch, uh, purses up here. They're pretty good. And got this birdhouse. Thing's kind of nuts. How you open you again? I think you take the nail out and then oh, nail on the other side. Then you load the bird feed in. But whoever made this is pretty awesome. And then just put the nail back in. Keep it close. Boom. But they made it like a little log cabin and everything. Birds will land right in there and eat. Well, the bird feed will come out right here actually. And then we have all them books from that one locker. So pretty soon I gotta start bringing a couple totes of these there every single week. And gotta bring those totes from up there. But it's a never ending process. So I may get this all cleared out, then buy a locker and fill it all back up. That's my life. All right, we'll see everybody later, and uh, thank you for watching so far. All right, bye. Just wanted to show you guys, I found another one. This one looks like it's pregnant, which is good. Come on, buddy, let me get you over to the bushes. I almost stepped on them. They're very friendly and everything. If you see all underneath, they got like little spikes but they do nothing to hurt us they kill the mosquitoes and everything so you guys have nothing to be afraid of there you go buddy all right well 
show you an update on the trailer and everything. So front's pretty much packed. Still gotta move out this little bit of junk. But still have a lot more to load in. One side of the garage looks packed. You can to see help it's all shoved in there. And then we walk Ooh, upstairs. Uh, I've been putting stuff in my aisle way to bring downstairs. So these three things, those. But making some room up here too. Alright, we'll see everybody a little bit later. Bye. Uh, hey everyone. So I just wanted to bring you back. Uh, you can see I made a ton of room. Uh, still got all this, but I'm done up here for now. I'm going to bring this downstairs and show you guys downstairs. But I know some of you are waiting for uh, the flea market video. And I'm sorry about that. I woke up today, literally came outside, and this is what I've been doing all day. So, that's why the flea market video is a little bit late. But you can see I'm packing this trailer good. There ain't gonna be any excuses that uh, I need more stuff. And sometimes uh, I say that a lot myself. Like, damn, I need more stuff in the trailer, but next week there won't be any excuse why I need more stuff. Unless it's just a banger week and I sell half the stuff in that trailer, which I only pray will happen, but I don't know if it will happen. Now I'm just working on clearing this little area right here. Alright, we'll get you guys back later. Bye. Alright, so at the end of it, this is what it looks like. Both walls are cleaned out. Well, I got three more in back of there, but that looks like dollar stuff. And then downstairs, we made a ton of room. Yeah, we cleaned all this up. Can't seem to find my truck keys, like always. Probably inside. But, give you a quick look of inside the trailer. Still gotta pull more stuff out of the house and the garage and the uh, travel trailer. But, hold on. Oh, there you go. We still got a decent amount of room in there. So, gotta fill up this and then we'll be ready for the market Sunday. Oh. Alright, well, thank you everyone for watching another one of my adventures, and I'll see you later. Alright, bye.